the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's Anime Fighting Simulator video, I'm going to show you all the new powers. Some strength, durability, chakra, sword, etc. Oh, as well as the boss drop from Overlord, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do it fast, but you need some, there are some requirements to do it. So I hope that you've been playing the game and you've watched my videos on how to prepare for this upcoming update, like finishing the fight pass, etc. Okay? Okay, so first up, for first Armino quest, you will be unlocking, yes, the wind scar. He will ask you to defeat, I think, the Glemice. Correct me if I'm wrong. And here is the wind scar. Guys, uh, if you want to defeat the Glemice fast, I have a video of that. The link is on the upper right side of the screen. Okay, so this is the range. I think, yeah, this is the maximum range for the cooldown, 8 seconds. I have a half, cool, half cooldown, so I think it's 16, right? There you go. So what do you think of this skill? Comment it on the comment section. So next up, guys. Armino will ask you to gain 3,000 Chakra, Physical Strength, and Durability. Again, increments. For the reward, Ultimate Shield reflects 30% damage. Wow. We'll be seeing that later. It only reflects, but it doesn't increase your defense. Okay. So a tip here, go to a Durability Training Area. Okay. And guys, you should have Ochaku. Why? Ochaku trains all of those stats. Uh, durability, chakra, and strength. Th that is the best champion. Check this out. Okay. And being in a durability training area, you can also train your durability and you can punch. Okay. Or just use uh, three or the ch chakra pose to increase your chakra. Okay. Okay. So I suggest you focus on chakra first because that is slower. Okay. So after doing it, here we go, let's go to Armino back and he will give us, again, the ultimate shield. So let's check it in the tournament dimension. Okay, shout out to Aerosess. Oh. Okay, so let's try it out. Again, our initial defense, etc. is 10, right? Okay. Now we will be using the ultimate shield for the Sunfist, 50 damage. Okay, normal uh, punch or kick is 10, Sunfist, 50. So let's try it out again, 30%. Return damage. Okay, okay, there you go. There's a, there's a bug here. Instead of a 30% return damage, the enemy will be damaged by 10. That's 100% return damage and our defense will increase by 30%. So it's kind of wrong. <laughs> See that, guys? <laughs> and for that, for the Sun Fist skill, no return damage but our uh, defense increased by some percent. Okay, so I hope that developers fix that, the description. For the next skill, okay, after that, you already have one quest active. And that quest is, there you go, 5k sword skill. So this is very easy. Just use your auto clicker. You can even finish it in front of Armino and use a champion. That increases your sword stats. Okay, so it can be Shanks, Mihawk, Asuna, Kirito, anyone. Anyone that has sword stat. And the reward skill is the dual wielding. It increases all sword damage by 2.5. Okay, so let's check it out. Guys, this is one of my favorite new powers aside from explosion. Later, I'm gonna show you. So here it is. Normal sword slash is 10, right? We're gonna use it. There you go, dual wielding. The damage will become 25, I guess. Yeah, 25, guys. That's so high. Oh, so cool. Now let's try it with a very strong sword skill. There you go, the moon style, the sea skill, the lonely moon. Guys, if you have Asuna and use dual wielding with this sea skill, your damage to mobs and bosses will be 900. That's so strong. Okay, so now we're gonna try this. But guys, you cannot use uh, explosive nova with the dual wielding, okay? You need to choose one and I choose the dual wielding to increase my damage. There you go. Okay, 170. Not bad. No champions. Next up, it will ask you to defeat the Beast Monkey for the Steam Burst power. So from what I know, this is from the Titan, the Steam Burst skill. So this is a fitting quest. Check it out guys, check the damage. 400, right? 400. I wasn't able to hit the other one. So if we hit both skills, boom. See that guys? Easy boss kill. Okay, okay. Check it out. We're still holding two swords. So here is this Team Burst 
Notice that it will only damage enemies at your back. Check it out, no damage. And they should be aligned, okay? See that guys, damage 444. Four, four. If they're not aligned, no damage. Just, I really don't like this skill. I thought there's a knockback, but no, you can, your enemy can still run towards you. So that's it for the Steam Burst. Next up, Armino will ask you to gain Chakra and Physical Strength. Again, you can use Ochako here. See? You should have finished the fight pass and it's free. For the Extermination Ray, okay, so again, we're gonna use Ochako. And after that, and after unlocking it, let's try it. There you go. The damage is 20. I think uh, 40 is the maximum damage. I'm not sure of that. Comment it on the comment section. For the range, check it out guys. Half of the whole uh, tuning exam. Oh, actually more than half. But to prove it to you, we're gonna hit him with that and boom. Okay? Okay. So next up, for the last quest, Armino, last quest, he will ask you to defeat three Azaka Akaza to unlock the explosion. Guys, this is one of my favorite skills. Why? So after defeating Akaza, check it out. After casting it, you can run, right? But it's so slow, gamer now. Guys, the cooldown is 10 seconds, right? And check the range. I wanted, I wanted to check the range of the explosion. Guys, even if you cast it here, see that? You will still damage your enemy. Boom. Check that out, guys. So, I think this is almost unavoidable. Okay. So now, next up for the other powers new powers some are from miss yes the final shine release a power beam destroying anything in its path actually it won't destroy your enemy the cooldown is so long check out 30 seconds i don't know if uh our half cooldown is applied here 30 seconds guys if you don't have half cooldown uh the cooldown will be one minute oh, and that's so long i don't know if it's if half cooldown is applied with this skill okay so next up, the Dragon Punch. This is from Beerus, okay? Here's the Dragon Punch. I want you to take note of the range. Guys, the range of this is so long. Check it out, guys. And we can still hit our enemy with that. Boom. Okay. Last four skills. Okay, for the three skills, we will be uh, getting it from the boss, Overlord, on Chapter 2 Dungeon. So here are the skills. First off, one of the coolest skills in the game so far, the Mastered Fallen Down. You can hit the enemy twice with this skill and the damage will give you a total of 60 without buffs, okay? So the moment I unlock this skill, dungeons are a lot easier because it's AoE and the damage is quite good. And also the range it will also make you stay in the air for quite some time. So yeah, this skill is very good. Okay, so... Next up, guys, this is skill. I really like this, but there's a chance that it will not hit your enemy. For our next skill, we have the black hole. Check it out, guys. It will pull your enemy towards its core. There you go. It really looks cool, guys. I'm kind of shocked in a way because all our black holes, I mean, for every skill, we were able to hit the enemy. The first time that I tried this, I rarely hit my enemy. So, yeah. Thank you to the black hole gods. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Right, one more time. I suggest that you try this in the tournament dimension. For our last skill, we have the Hell Flame. There you go, it's the Hell Flame. I really don't like this skill, but the cooldown is fast, so yeah. If you wanna use it, then go for it. There you go. So that will be it for all the skills. Guys, can you please help me? For the first one who will answer this, I'll pin your comment and give you a shout out. Red Lightning, I don't know where I got it, but I have it. So here's the skill. There you go. Wait, okay, there you go. Let's just check the range. There you go. For the maximum range, guys. Yes, this is the maximum range. There you go. For the Akaza and Glemice skills, I already have a video of that. Check my channel for the videos, or I'll just put a link on the upper right side of the screen. One more thing, I will be posting a video of the Dragon Fruit later. I will be comparing it with other games. So that's it guys. I hope that you learned something from this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!